Hi, this is Thomas Mashad, and welcome to Foundations of Web Design. In this video, I'm going to be talking briefly about the browsers that you'll need as well as the text editors. Now, in order to develop and test websites, you need two tools to start out with, a web browser and a code editor. While most computers come with a web browser installed, it's a good, it's, it's a good idea to get a couple more to make sure that you can test against what other users are experiencing in their browser. And while you can use a text editor that comes pre-installed on most computers and write an HTML document, it's best to have a text editor that is built to help you write code. And in our case, it's going to be HTML and CSS. So let's first take a look at some of the browsers that you might consider. The two browsers that come on most operating systems, whether it be a Mac or a Windows operating system, for the Mac, it's Safari. And like I said, it comes pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about downloading anything. They no longer develop for the Windows uh, platform, so uh, really it's kind of like a Mac-only browser. And it's the same thing with Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is a Windows only browser. So if you're on a Mac or if you're on a Linux operating system, uh, you know, it's not something that you're going to be able to use. So the later on when we talk about workflow, we're going to see ways that you can test on Internet Explorer and Safari and other browsers say are only for uh, the, the Linux operating system, we're going to see how you can test on those without having to install them on your computer. For you, however, the things that you will want to install are some uh, open source browsers such as Mozilla's Firefox, Google's Chrome, and the Opera browser. All three of those can run on all three operating systems, whether you're on Linux, Mac, or on Windows. All of these will have links down just below this video so you can find uh, and download each one of those browsers. Now let's go and talk about our text editors. Komodo Edit is the one that I'm going to be utilizing for primarily the majority of these videos. It's free and it runs on all operating systems whether you're on Linux, Mac, or on Windows. So you can just click on this big download button right here and it will take you to the download page for Komodo Edit. So it will normally detect what operating system that you're running, but if you need to choose a different platform, you can do so as well. So that is over at activestate.com slash Komodo hyphen edit. And once again, links will be down below. If you're looking for something else, maybe uh, you've heard about Notepad++. This is a Windows only. Um, text editor so you can download that it's right over here it's free it's run by donations and so certainly if you want to uh, contribute towards the development of notepad plus plus it's uh, it's really great to do so so there's a little donate button right over here that can take you to a place where you can uh, give them some of your money so it's it's really great uh, allowing developers to continue to develop if you're on a Mac operating system, you might consider uh, TextMate. And at the, uh, the time of this recording, there is TextMate 2, which is in the alpha version. And if you click on that to download, it will be free of charge. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've used TextMate for years, as many others have, and it has been a great text editor. Another one that is gaining a lot of notoriety, and it works on all operating systems, whether you're on Windows, Linux, or Mac, is Sublime Text. And as of this recording, it's currently in Sublime Text 2, but they are currently developing Sublime Text 3, which you can download and test out. Now, uh, some of these you can end up running, such as Sublime Text, without having to pay for it. It just runs in kind of like a demonstration mode or a non-registered or unregistered mode, but it's always good to um, pay whatever you're using for, for something like this. So uh, there's plenty of other text editors out there, and on the website, I'll have links to other editors that you might consider. I run a Mac operating system, so I know most about uh, the Mac operating system, and if you have any that you really like, shoot me an email or uh, submit a comment onto the website and let me know. All right, so in the next video here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, download and install Komodo and just get up and running with a first document and how all of that works. So head on over to the next video about Komodo Edit.